Lords. I said it. He's got that. Because they've got an edge of 43 to 25 on the glass tonight. Yeah, you see that? Usually you dominate a game. Ten second chance points for USF, but not a crazy number. Now with the uh, 11 offensive rebounds, feels right. like it could be more. Another three. Left. Who do they go to? It's Forbes against Davenport. Step back three for the tie. Pounded them throughout the season, the ability to hold on to double-digit leads. They were up by 18 in the first meeting against Tulane. Pass is shooting 65% from the free throw line. Kevin Cross bringing the ball up, too. That's McGee. On the court for Tulane, James Cook, Holloway, Cross, and Forbes. This is Forbes up top. Good look down low to James. Again, ball's moving. Ball and body movement, and then you can break your defender down, get into the lane. Look at the move from Cook. From the floor in the first half. Here in the second half, the one of eight from downtown. And they are struggling to shoot the basketball, comparatively speaking. With Tostate really being stingy off the dribble, Forbes rises up. Yeah, he heard you talk about tally. He started to tally up the threes. Second one for him. And big key. They need some three-point baskets to go in. We just talked about they made 14 here recently. A lot of time dissecting this two-lane matchup. And they've had a lot of success against it. Where they haven't had success is some in transition. He's at five. Cook has to give it up. McGee takes a peek at the clock. Mid-range jump for a <laughs> Back to Forbes, transfer out of Alabama. Percent as a group. About four and a half gone opening half. No look feed to James. Andre Williams, 7 of 16 from the floor in this game. He's got a 17 rebounds. That's a season high, but not the offensive output he's been accustomed to as of late, at least from a field goal shooting standpoint. 